We all know that the deadline to file your taxes for 2016 is coming up in April, but today we're here to talk about some of those tips that will impact your bottom line on your taxes for next time in 2017. And here to discuss this is our resident wealth strategist and tax attorney, Rebecca Walser. I'm so glad to see you again, glad Rebecca. Glad to see you. Glad you welcome back, new mom. So, <laughs> so glad you. to be back with you. It's um, great to have you and be here. So yeah, there's a lot of neat things you can do. So let me just talk about a couple basics, Natalie. The thing is, a lot of people own stock positions, and over, especially now, we're at the highest highs, you know, mm -hmm. after Donald Trump's uh, joint, uh, his, you know, his address to joint session of Congress, um, the markets, we had all-time highs on everything. So basically, um, if your stock positions have appreciated and you want to make a charitable donation, some people might liquidate a stock, okay. pay a capital gain on that, and then donate the cash to charity. Okay. to get a, a tax yeah. write-off. But you actually don't have to do that. You can actually take your appreciated stock and donate directly to the charity, the appreciated stock. And what this does is it will give you the fair market value of a write-off for the charity with avoiding paying that capital gain. Oh, so it's a double okay. tax benefit. I would say that's a really good tip. Now, if you don't fall under that that category or that situation, what are some of the other tips that you yeah, may have? Yeah, other tips. Everyone would fall under that category because everyone has to pay capital gains. It's not uh, income bracketed. It's, it's a capital gain. Okay. So everyone's going to benefit if you have an appreciated stock. The other thing is a car. If you have a car that's worth more than $500 and you donate it to a charity, and you see these all the time, donate yes. your car, donate your car. Well, you might go and donate your car that's worth more than $500 and think you're going to get this great tax deduction. But if they just use it for themselves, um, you'll get that deduction. But if they actually sell it at auction for cash, then your deduction will be limited to what it's sold for. So you want to put a little asterisk on that donation that says you must either use it or you must donate it to a needy individual. That way you can write off the fair market value and uh, okay. not just what they get at an auction price. Okay, good tips for helping out in the charity world. Love it. Charitable what? deductions. We use them. Those are key. Okay, Absolutely. what are some other tips, though? I know you've I got more. I think maybe some tax strategy advice. A lot of people think, oh, I'm getting a refund. You know, I'm going to get my refund. I'm so excited. But what we actually look at that as a tax loan. That is an interest-free loan that you've given to the government, and they're actually just giving you your own mm -hmm. money back without interest. So I have people that say, well, you know, Rebecca, it's nice to get a refund, or it's like a forced savings account. And I'm just thinking, set up a savings account at your bank where it automatically takes money from your checking account every month and set that kind of savings up for, and force yourself that way. Don't give free money to the government because when you get a refund, you're getting your money back without any interest. So you might as well play the game and get interest out of it. Yeah, you might as well increase your W-4 if you're getting a refund. Okay. Increase your W-4 so that it can be appropriately deducted what you should be getting. Pay what you owe and then take that money and put it into a savings account. Earn some interest on it or some other vehicles that could earn interest on it. I would say that's one positive way of looking at taxes, though. I'm yes, not going to lie is. when you look at the <laughs> refund. So well, any other uh, positive ideas or other things that people can do so they really can maximize? Yeah, I'll tell you one huge uh, tax strategy, and that is a lot of people maximize maximize their 401k um, deductions and they yeah. think that they're doing this wonderful thing for themselves on the long term yeah. and the truth is I would contribute to my 401k up to the match and beyond the match I would look outside of a pre-tax vehicle for my retirement strategy because the problem is Natalie taxes were in the second lowest period of taxation in our country's history and based on our 20 trillion dollars of debt and the retirement of the baby boomers we expect mathematically mm. taxes will be higher in the future so I I don't, I'm not a fan of the plan that says let's pay taxes later. So you're saying, so just to kind of recap everything, again, I, I'm lucky because I have a cheat sheet of your points. Absolutely. So lucky for that, but you're talking about obviously the charitable donations. Yes. But secondly, having those savings accounts is going to give you more yes. as far as taxes. And third, instead of hitting your full deduction, your 401k, make sure and put in the savings account. So really, savings account with the interest rates, those are the keys. Yeah, and I, I will say savings account because it's different for each person. Okay. You really have to talk with a financial planner, a strategist, and work out what is the best vehicle for you. And that's what you're able to that's do. That's what you're we do. Able to make it personalized absolutely. and spend that time with each client. Yep, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you again. Thank we you, always Natalie. appreciate it, especially during tax season. Again, for more information on how you can reach Rebecca and her team, all you have to do call 866 929 3258 or even visit them online if that's easier, walserwealth.com.